this session show you how to use um, text field uh, Java FS UI controls. Once you create a Java FS applications, uh, it consists of the three files. So let me just make sure all those three files are located in the same place. So you go to Java FX applications, then add the package name. Save it. Now everything seems okay. Okay, let me add a um, text build using uh, SimBuilder. I'm using SimBuilder 8.5. So when you use a, when you create the projects, it comes with uh, two components. One of them called uh, buttons. You can see they're from left hand side, and then it has a name on it, uh, which is what we call as a FX ID. They may use it as a reference variable. And there is another object called label. So let me add a couple of um, text fields. Now we need to um, add a reference variable, which is FX ID. I like to use a prefix uh, text for for text field. I may say TF. So TF number one, number two, TF sum. So I may add uh, two numbers. Once it's done, I like to show them. Uh, I, I like to show that calculations on text field. Let me change the name of the uh, buttons. I'm going to use the same uh, method, so already built in. It call it as a handle button actions. Whenever you use a um, um, same builder, you need to create a new um, controller, which is simply saying uh, refresh your FXML documents. Let me get rid of uh, label because I don't really need to use it. Okay, let me go back to uh, make controller. So whenever you change your uh, UI designs, you need to uh, uh, refresh it, which is basically saying make a new controller. So when I click the buttons, uh, that button actually call for action events handler. And this is actually an uh, abstract method it belongs to action events handler interface. In other words, we must implement it. So let me get the uh, uh, string value from text field. So when you type number 10 in a text field, it actually appear uh, as an integer value. In practice, that is not actually integer value. It is a string value. Name of the method called as a get text. Well, when you change the value, you may use the set text. So here we use a get text. Then uh, let's get the string value. So we may need to convert to integer value using wrapper class called integer. And pass int so that uh, whatever the value we have in tf number one, we retrieve it as a string value and convert. 
convert it as a, a integer value so that we can save it to int num one. I do the same thing for the second uh, text field. Let me get text value, which is a string, and save it as a uh, num2. Of course, I need to do um, typecasting using uh, integer leper class. Let me add some uh, comments for you. Okay, let's move to the next one. This case is um, uh, most like a reverse order. We get the uh, integer value, which is some. Um, um, depends on uh, number one plus number two. So it is integer value. But when you save it to a um, text field called sum, it has to be saved as a string value. So we need to do type conversion again using wrapper class. The method is called set text. See now you can see the problem with the uh, incompatible data type. It has to be saved as a string value. So let me call wrapper uh, class called string and value of sum, which is uh, Basically, say we convert integer values to string value so that uh, we won't have a problem with the incompatible data type. Okay, now everything seems okay. You can build and run it, or you can just click the buttons and will um, build it, build the project for you if we haven't done so yet. They will launch it. So let me just type down some numbers and let's see what happens. Okay, 